good morning everybody now uh, we are going to learn uh, chapter first green plants make their food uh, we learn in this uh, chapter how do plants make their food inside leaf and uh, uh, first of all we are going to learn a structure of a leaf there are two types of structure external and internal first of all we are going to discuss external external structure of leaf see here this whole leaf is called leaf blade or leaf lamina okay now there is a lot of bija at the time of the ek baj rahe the mai teen baje now there is a mid leaf which runs in middle point and inside branch there are veins uh, arises so this uh, this one is called, this one are called vein and this one mid leaf here and the leaf is attached to the stem uh, that is called petiole at petiole at the base of petiole there is a stipule okay now this one is stem this these are the external structure of leaf now internal structure internal structure first of all uh, there is a upper part if you take a leaf you cross uh, dissect this one like a transverse section and uh, you see like this one this one is upper upper part okay the upper part and lower part stomata is present at the lower part there is a uh, stomata okay now there is a cuticle upper epidermis chlorophyll containing cells that is called mesophyll cells okay now lower epidermis stomata is present at lower epidermis okay now this one is lower cuticle lower cuticle okay in this way these are the structure now stomata stomata is a narrow is a it is a tiny opening that is found at the lower lower epidermis okay Uh, their structures are chlorophyll uh, two guard cells basically these two uh, cells are called guard cells and uh, each cell containing nucleus and chlorophyll okay now process of making food we see in this how do the plants perform photosynthesis okay uh green plants make their food by the process of called photosynthesis okay uh, there is a raw material in the photosynthesis is co2 carbon dioxide okay this one is called carbon dioxide okay h2o this one called water <coughs> and light okay and this one perform in the leaf and that is the uh, that is the cellular organ and that organ is called chloroplast chloroplast contains chlorophyll pigment and uh, for the presence of chlorophyll pigment the plants looks like green or if you see a uh, old plant uh, short plant or plant a uh, baby plant you see baby plant their whole part of a stem uh, leaf okay all will be green okay due to the presence of chloroplast okay now uh, uh, how 
they interact this one and form the full uh, in the form of glucose. See here, CO2 from uh, environment, water from land or you can say soil, then light, okay, and here chlorophyll, uh, chlorophyll pigment, chlorophyll pigment traps the light and convert CO2 and H2O into glucose, okay, and O2, or plus energy. This one is called glucose and it is stored and used by plants, okay. Now, come to the what are the function of a leaf? Okay, leaf. Uh, there is a main function is it provide uh, us food and oxygen. Here, food. It is also called food. You say food. Okay, and oxygen. Food and oxygen uh, provide us. And release excess water. Uh, you see, during summer season, uh, plants require to cool down itself. So it releases some water uh, from leaf stomata, okay, uh, to uh, like uh, us, uh, we uh, sweat, okay. Uh, <coughs> now uh, there is a another uh, that this is the very very important function to store food in leaf okay in leaf you say uh, uh, cabbage and spinach they store foods and in this way we eat as vegetables okay now flow of energy there is a, a special there is a special kind of path that indicate the flow of energy and that is the sun sun is regarded as the main source of energy sun then grass uh, grass or you can say plants okay again this energy flow down from uh, from grass to grasshopper okay and again grasshopper to frogs again frogs to snakes and snakes to kite or how okay in this way this is called a flow of energy anyway there is a main uh, this is a stagnant and this one also is stagnant a stagnant means a uh, main source of energy is uh, uh, sun and Again, grass is the main source of energy in the uh, sorry on the earth. That's why it is also uh, main uh, main. And again, this one flows in this uh, direction, and this is called unidirectional flow of energy. It is called it is called unidirectional flow of energy. Okay, flow of energy in this way when energy flows like this one. Okay, now interdependence. Interdependence means there is a plant and animals, both are interdependent to each other. 
ओके प्लांट्स गिव एनिमल्स फूड एंड ऑक्सीजन फूड एंड ऑक्सीजन ओके नाउ एनिमल्स एनिमल्स रिलीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू द एनवायरमेंट एंड फ्रॉम एनवायरमेंट प्लांट्स टेक इट एंड दैट इज एक्ट एज द रॉ मेटेरियल फॉर द फॉर द प्रोटोसिंथेसिस ओके नाउ इन दिस वे प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स आर इंटरडिपेंडेंस विथ ईच अदर सो थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो